Hey guys, this is Simply Tawani, and uh, today I'm going to do a review on Dead Space Thief, uh, which you can see I got for the Xbox 360. Uh, to start, to, just before I start saying stuff about the game, I'm a huge fan of Dead Space. Um, I've always loved the games. I mean, I've got the first one and the second one here. Love both of them. I've played this one about four times, and this one about a couple of times as well. Both love these games. Um, this, that's just the. Yeah, how f how tense you feel and how scary it gets in these games is quite good, and they're one of my favourite horror fr uh, franchise games I've ever played. I think on the on the next gen consoles really, and um, so yeah, Dead Space Three. Um, so I won't really sp try to spoil it that much for you if you've not completed it or played it yet. Um, if you played the second one, it kind of like takes off a couple. I don't know how how long, but um, basically Isaac Clarke is back in his home planet. Earth, and um, he was taken away by um, uh, two of these guys. One of them actually plays a co-op guy. I forgot his name again. But you go with them, and um, you escape. The, well, you get they they are trying to f they are trying to destroy the markers or the home planet of the markers. Basically, where the um, this ice planet where they where they actually do visit, where the Nikomorphs are from. And um, before that, though, you do go and, like, um, it kind of reminds me of the first game again, where you go on sh spaceships, and you trans how to get to different ones of them. You, you get transport with this uh, shuttle, which is pretty cool, actually. And it's basically um, other sh um, spaceships have been destroyed or half destroyed or ruined. Um, and, um, yeah, you, you go through them and that, and that's how the first... It takes quite a few chapters to get, um, before you actually get to the home planet of Nicomorphs, uh, the ice planet, which you do play in the demo. Um, I think it's chapter 10 or 11 that you get there. There's 19 chapters in total in this game. But I've got to say this game is pretty decent. It's quite longish as well. And there's side missions as well, which you can do, which is really interesting to learn about. And uh, it gives you extra gameplay uh, time, which I thought was excellent, and I really did enjoy it. But as, yeah, as we know, this is Isaac Clarke here, who you play as. Um... And uh, he is trying to finally destroy, destroy um, the, the the marker, um, or the guy, or basically the machine that controls all the markers, and because um, he, he, as we know, he destroyed two of them in the first. Well, he destroyed one in the first one, and and a, a second one. This was two, um, that's the way it's called that. And uh, now this was three. At the end, he um, he sits out, but I'm not gonna tell you what happens to him or what or specifically what you have to do to do it. But um, yeah. Yeah, I did enjoy this game, but I, I wouldn't say it's scary, scarier as the first or the second game, um, especially the first game. That, the first game, uh, it was, it was, it was intense. I remember when I first got that game, I didn't actually never play it till about one o'clock in the morning, and it was, it was quite spooky. And, um, but that's when I was a lot younger as, as well, so I'm twenty one now, so I'm not, in this, I'm not as scared as that as as uh, I normally was when I was younger. Plus, I'm used to horror games and horror films as well. But yeah, guys, I haven't really played in the multiplayer. Not played co-op yet, but I plan to go play co-op with somebody who wants to play co-op with me, um, and uh, go through the game, and uh, we can complete it together. So, but I've not played online. I don't fancy playing Dead Space uh, online to be honest. With you. Even the second game when they first got multiplayer, and I, I only played it a couple of times, and I didn't like it that much. But um, yeah, but the Avengers Juice co-op. I remember when we seen it. At E3, it said co op, and everyone was total white saying, Oh, it's going to be more action and let and no more horror. But you've got an option to pick from that, which is pretty good. Which I thought that was going to happen because if it, it was just co op, or basically you play single player, but you've got him by your side, it's gonna it's not going to be as great. But um, yeah, but they've got four modes they've got like easy, normal, hard, and then sane. You know, I play through as normal first, and there's so much like ammo and health, it's insane at the start. It's actually too much, and it doesn't. It doesn't make it feel like you're, like um, like you're unstoppable. Yeah, but it makes you. It makes you feel unstoppable. But I, I recommend playing probably the hard one. Um, if you played through these games first, and then insane is really hard because if you die, you start from the mission again, which would be pretty fucking hard to be honest with you. Um, excuse the language, but um, it will be hard. But um, but overall, guys, I enjoyed this game. It's pro. It's the f first game. I've got in 2013. Um, I got Hitman and Dishonored, but that was for Christmas. So, but yeah, this is the first game I've got, and um, I highly enjoyed it. And I would give the game a nine out of ten. It's a great game. The campaign was really great as well. As I say, not as a lot harder as expected. Um, 
and uh, it's a wonderful game. I think game gameplay and graphics are as good as ever, and I really did enjoy these games. And hopefully they'll be making more, but I'm not going to spoil it to you because it might reveal something. But um, yeah, guys, that's Dead Space Three, my review, and um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this. If you've got any comments um, or you want to do a video response and review or what you thought of this game, just give us a comment or give us a video response. And uh, thanks for watching this, guys. Thanks for commenting, subscribing, and reading. And uh, till next time, guys, I'll catch you later.